Yo, Kill what's up guys, this is Exclusive Gaming and today Don't I'm here with the Holy 26 gun review. Honestly, if you thought I hated the SA-87, ooh, you're in pressure. for a treat. I honestly hate this gun, not gonna. The only reason I somewhat like this gun more than the SA-87 is that it holds 100 rounds, and the SA-7 can't even come close. The closest it can get is 60. Besides that, that and the look of the G36, that there's nothing else I like about this gun. It is horrible. At least the SA-87 kind of fit like a slight actual goal, like a, a lightweight running gun like a machine gun. But I honestly feel as if the Holger was just put in here because they couldn't afford the rights to the, the G36 and they just want to put the G36 in. Like, there's no ammo to even increase from the base, which I can kind of understand it's one, it's already 100, but it's a light machine gun. Like, at least let us put 125 or 150 in there. That'd be, just, that would be at least show that they care. The other thing that, that shows that I don't even think they gave a damn about it and just put it in because they could is there's no bipod attachment. On the base gun, if you don't add any extra barrel, and I'll get into that later. There's a, you can see a bipod, but there's no bipod attachment. Every LMG in this game has a bipod attachment. Even though the S87. And if you put the shorter barrel on the S87, it instead of like the bipod on the barrel, the bipod is like and it's like attaches on the Picatinny rail underneath. Which I think is actually kind of a cool thing to show that though the thing changes, it changes how you have to attach a, a, a bipod to the gun. But this thing, it doesn't even have a bipod attachment. And like I said with the barrels, every gun in this game, or at least LMG, has a barrel attachment that usually increases the damage range and, and bullet velocity, and then usually one that at least increases its damage range, Enemy bullet UAV velocity, overhead. and recoil control. This thing has nothing. There's nothing to increase the damage range except for the monolithic suppressor. Like, that's how I, I honestly feel that they didn't even put it, give a damn when they put this in. They just put it in because why the hell not? There's no bipod attachment, and there's no increase of ammo capacity, and there's no barrel that increases the range. Like, what the fuck? It's that's like kind of like a base thing for every LMG in this game, and it just blows my mind that it's not there. Like I said before, the only thing that I like about this thing over the SA-87 is that it allows you to have 100 rounds. That is the only thing I like. There's, besides that, I don't even get why it's there. They made the gun for a lot of ammo, so it doesn't have a lot of damage and has a decent fire rate. But, like, then they added the conversion kit, which is fine, because so people can make the G36, but it's like, it already sucks. It's like, I believe, a 5-6 to six shot kill. What is the point of that? Have 30 rounds, that's not gonna get you anywhere. Enemy precision and get down. this honestly makes me like the SA-87 more, playing with this gun. It, five to six shot kill is ridiculous. At least the SA-87 had it, power. Not gonna lie, every gun in this game feels like it, it is a real gun. Except for this gun. It hits so light. Ah! And it's ridiculous. It's like, it doesn't even, it, out of every gun in the game, I feel like pistols feel more powerful than this gun. And I don't understand, like, I feel like other guns, like if you have a PKM and you know someone's behind a wall, they should be scared. This thing has zero bullet penetration, and even with FMJ, it sucks. And it feels like when you're getting shot at by this thing, it doesn't even feel like you're, I've never felt worried. Like I've been, people will peek me when I'm shooting, trying to shoot them through the wall. They'll peek me with the sniper and I die. Because this thing hits so light. And it, it's horrible. It's only there to be there. It's like, oh hey look, we added another gun into the game. It, that's the only reason why it's here. And honest to god, there's not nothing that I could think that they could do really to make it feel good to increase. Is like a, a buff. The most I think that they should, if I wanted them to do anything, would increase the ammo, get a bipod, and have a longer barrels, but then increase the fire rate. Like, 
not, I don't want it to be better than the MG-34s by a rate, but like, make it a little bit better. But in general, the gun's just there to be there. It, I don't even feel like they cared. Even with the recent bug, so that it just makes it more like an assault rifle, it still doesn't change the fact that, why would I want to use this, and you, when I could just use the Kilo, which has a, a shorter damage range, better, it has more of a, what do you call it, um, assault rifle kind of feel. Like already on it. The only thing this thing does is it looks better with the 100 rounds than the Kilo. Kilo looks ugly, it looks like a pair of testicles, not gonna lie. But this gun is atrocious. And I feel like I'm repeating myself, but like, honestly, don't even fucking get it if you haven't even got it. If you play, just play Warzone, don't even get it. This gun sucks in there too. And even if you wanted to use the 30 rounds, say goodbye to that and then Warzone too. It's horrible. The only good things that it has is that you can, besides, you can make this thing even more of a running gun, I guess. But it really wouldn't be that useful because the gun still takes six shots to kill. But you can put no stock on. The super short barrel that increases your movement speed. Kill confirmed. And if you really want to, you could put the 30 rounds on, but I wouldn't even try that. There's a lot of things to increase movement speed and stuff more than the, the other Dash 87, which is like the shorter barrels, which is the super short one too. Kill confirmed. Because it's a bullpup gun, they can't remove the stock. But it, besides that, it has nothing good for it. I guess maybe except for a fast reload speed for how much ammo you can carry when you're using the 100 gun. That's all I can think of what this thing is good for. I'd honestly rather use the SA-87 than this thing. And that's saying a lot, because I've talked a lot of shit about that gun. Okay, well, I know this entire video is a rant. I guess, personally, I have every right to be, because this thing is just fucking dog shit. But if you really are good with the gun, I used to be really good with it, and it was good. But it takes, it's like, after a long time of using any gun that you like, you will become good with it. But like, why would I want to use this gun? And I could just use the PKM and do way better with it. It, I, you, you'd have to put so much more time into it to be good with this gun. And it's just not worth it. Enemy at the center. It, it's really not. And that's, that's all I really have to say about that. I think I go even in this game using this gun, which is atrocious Enemy going even. I, I had 31 kills and 31 deaths, I believe. But, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. I would not recommend using this gun. If, if you don't have it, you're not missing out on much. But, yeah, that's all I have to say. I will be uploading one more this week, video this week, which I believe will be the MG34 gun review. And without further ado, I think that's everything. See you next time. Bye.